What's up Cloud Gamers, welcome to the Cloud Gaming Extreme channel, your destination for all things Cloud Gaming. And welcome to another GFN Thursday update. We'll begin today with two game updates that are streaming on GeForce Now next week and later in the month. You may remember back in February that developer 4A Games shared news of an enhanced edition of Metro Exodus that was coming and this edition takes advantage of the fully ray-traced lighting pipeline. Good news for us, it's coming to GeForce Now day and date on May 6th. The PC Enhanced Edition includes additional ray tracing features like advanced ray trace reflections and support for DLSS 2.0. As you see on screen, the full list of RTX features coming to the PC Enhanced Edition is massive, from fully ray traced lighting to advanced ray traced reflections to addition of field of view slider that will be added to the main game options. In summary, the game is going to look even more amazing than it already does and you'll be able to jump into it next week on GeForce Now. But remember, you'll need to be a founder or priority member to access these features. The second game update in this week's news sees Iron Harvest, the classic real-time strategy game with an epic single-player campaign, multiplayer and co-op, get a new DLC on May 27th. This DLC, dubbed Operation Eagle, brings a new faction to the game's alternative version of World War I. You'll guide the new faction through seven new single player missions while learning how to use the game's new aircraft units. Operation Eagle also adds new multiplayer maps and the new USA campaign can be played cooperatively with friends. The team at Deep Silver was gracious enough to answer a few questions about the game updates. Feel free to pause the video and read over them at your leisure or you can use the link in the video description which will take you to the GFN blog post. Because let's face it, you don't want to hear me droning on all the way through them questions. Okay, let's get technical now. We have a bunch of updates and improvements going on. The first of which is the GeForce Now app. The 2.0.29 update is rolling out with several improvements. I haven't got the update myself just yet, but make sure to check your own and check out the highlights in the settings pane in the app. One feature GeForce Now are currently testing with founders and priority members is preloading. This feature loads parts of your game before you arrive so your launch times will be faster. Members who are testing this feature should see sessions launch up to a minute faster from the moment they click play in the GeForce Now app. Free members aren't guaranteed preloaded sessions and may see slightly longer startup times. To enable the benefits of preloading, GeForce Now are also testing a new account linking feature which lets you play games without having to log into your game store account. Both the preloading and account linking features are currently enabled for Fortnite's PC build on GeForce Now, but we do anticipate an expansion of these features to more games in the future. PC, Mac OS and Chromebook users can now enable the new account linking feature from a new tile on the My Library row and app. This will take you to the settings pane where you can turn on account linking for Fortnite under connections. Once completed, you won't need to log into your Epic account to play Fortnite's PC build on any other supported GeForce Now platform and you'll be eligible for preloaded sessions. Rounding off the technical updates this week, if you are playing GeForce Now from a Chrome browser, you can now pull up the in-game overlay. PC and Chromebook users can test it out for themselves by hitting Ctrl plus G, or if you're a Mac OS user, hit CMD plus G. Let's wrap up this GFN Thursday update by taking a look at the games joining the GeForce Now library this week. Available via Steam, we have R-Type Final 2, which is a day and date release, and Chinese Parents. And we have five games coming this week via the Epic Game Store. They are Darksiders 2 Definitive Edition, The Dungeon of Nahul Book, The Amulet of Chaos, Gona, Soma, and Ukulele and The Impossible Lair. 
Well, quite a lot of information to process from GeForce Now this week. If you would like a more in-depth description of the updates, check out our article on our website. Link is in the video description below. And before you leave us, make sure to like the video, subscribe and ring those bells so you don't miss out on any more great content. Until next time folks, stay safe and keep on gaming.